Welcome back, I'm Herman the Herman, and today we're going to be doing five minutes of batch. First thing that you want to do is you want to go find Notepad. If you're using a Windows machine, you'll find it probably in Windows accessories here, if it's a Windows 10 anyways. Then you just click on Notepad. So now we've got our Notepad here, we'll make it full screen. So then the first thing that you want to type is the at symbol and an X. Oh, off. Here you can choose your colors. We're going to use green lettering with a black background. So we'll go color 0A. There's quite a few colors that you can choose from. So if you pick your own color, you can just open command prompt once again. Go to say Windows System. Open up command prompt. So then you go color 0Z. It's not a color, but you hit enter. And right here, you've got all the color combination right here. So zero equals black, one blue. You get the picture. All right, so anyways, we're gonna go with black background with green lettering. And then we will go mode. Mode is the window size. So we can go from a 100 size window for basic startup, a thousand, whatever you want. We'll just start off with a hundred for this. So then we'll want to do a colon there and then we'll have our first one as A. Now battery is at the program top to bottom first. So we start with A, this is one possibly the simplest code that there is. So you go echo and then percentage random, random percentage. So then you wanna copy this and paste it for some pretty cool matrix effects here. That should be good. And then go to A. So now we wanna save that. So we, you save the file as, and we'll call this matrix.ba, and then you wanna set this to all files. And save. Now right here we've got it. This was the very first program that I wrote when we were first getting into programming. Another cool trick is time and date. So I want to go echo. We'll type date. This this will be printed on the screen. And then we go percentage and then all little cases date and end it with a percentage. And then we go time. And once again, this just shows up on this just shows up in the screen and then we, we want to type percentage time. So now this is giving it two commands. So the commands are in the percentage symbols. So now we'll quickly save that and we'll run it. So here we go. We've got our date here and our time here. Okay, so these are pretty simple ones. Now, if you're like me, you're going to want to make a game, which is what I did with bat. So what I did so the next step was into making a game. So the first thing that we'll do is welcome to the game. So then we're going to go in the next line, we're going to go set for P and then number and then to an equal symbol. And then after this, we hit enter again. We leave that line there. So now basically the bad program is getting ready for you to enter a variable. So now you want to say if percentage num number percentage um equal equals one then go to start and if percentage number percentage equal equals two then we'll go go to x it we're going to take that line out because we don't need it anymore it's not going to be running an infinite loop like that all right so then the next thing is that we're going to want to go into here name it the same as what we named it right here so then we type start we'll just have a little a go across the screen so then we'll have a wall another wall your letter and then next line type another echo and then we'll do one and a bunch of more underscores and then a one at the end here all right so now we've got our first basic animation this is going to be a pretty great game so then next thing that we want to do well i actually want to start this thing off with cls this way it clears the screen of everything before it. It's, once again, we're going to be getting the program ready to take more user inputs. So now we want to put number equals if percentage number. For this, we'll just use one and two. If percentage number equal equals two, equals two, then go to move A. And if percentage number percentage equal equals one go to we'll send it right back to me so this way if you press one then it'll go back to menu if you press two you'll move ahead we're going to want to go with move a and then we'll just copy this whole thing over and we'll just add tabs until and take a singular tab away line this all up again and just keep on doing that until we're good to go. Go to move B. And then we'll do move B. And we'll just give this a test run here. Welcome to the game. So we're going to want to press 1, press 2, and your A starts to move. 
press 1. We can get our A doing a little dance back and forth. We're going to want to have it so that you can put your name in the game. So we're going to go, please enter your name. Set forward dash B Herman percentage Herman. And now, do you want to play the game? Press 1 for yes and 2 for no. Alright, so now we've already got the rest of the stuff. Should be printing our name. The one thing that we might want to do here, though, is we'll go echo, and then we'll have percentage Herman percentage, so now I'll be saying your name every time. We'll copy this line, so it's exactly the same for each one, and alright, we'll run this quick a second. The syntax of the command is incorrect. Right, we forgot an equal sign here. Welcome to the game, please enter your name. Alright, so then it says hello Herman. Yeah, so we've got a working game so far. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If this video helped you out, or if you liked it, just leave it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments about Batch, you know where to leave them. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Herman Nerman out.